Hello, my name is Jordan Milgram and today I'm going to do a little tutorial for you. Um, we're learning how to work with red footage. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the red website. So we're going to open that up. Uh, let's go to www.red.com. Alright, now on this website there's a few programs and plugins you're going to want. First thing you're going to want is, you're, depending on what version of Final Cut you're working on, you could have either Studio 3 or 2 installer. I'm on 2, so I've already downloaded that. You're going to want the Red Code QuickTime codec, so you're going to want to download that. That'll help you view your proxy videos and files. And now you're going to go to Red Alert, which is what you're going to need to process all your R3D files. Those are the raw files that come right off of the camera. Alright, so you're just going to download that. That includes Beta Red Alert, Red Line, and Red Rushes. So after you download that, get them from your Applications folder and put them in your dock here, so that way they're easily accessible for whenever you need them. So what you're going to do now is you're going to open up Red Rushes. Red Rushes is a uh, processing program. It just basically writes video. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to add clips. First you're going to want to find your drive. I just left mine off so I'm going to boot it up real quick. So um, it doesn't really matter what kind of drive you have. This is actually going to be running and processing through a USB drive. So here it is, Ape. Now if you noticed, I have uh, lots of little subfolders in here and these are the files that we're going to be processing, the R3D files. So you don't have to select each and every individual one. So you're going to go all the way back to your Ape folder and you're just going to hit open. If you notice, it basically extracts all your R3D files from all those folders. There's over 170 files here that I need to get processed. So this might take a day or two, uh, depending on the speed of your computer. I work on an 8-core Mac. Um, it's nice and quick, so this will probably only take about half a day. So I'm going to hit uh, Resize. Now we're going to want to scale this um, to 2048 wide but we're gonna want 1152 high. Then we're gonna go to output. We want QuickTime Movie, Apple ProRes 422 HQ. You want your real ID to be set to either full name or FCP8 character. Doesn't really matter. The FCP8 character basically just reduces the file name so it's easier to read in Final Cut Pro. Um, we're not gonna be burning in a timecode. So basically now we just go to output folder. I have one already made called process footage. You basically just want to select that and then you hit open. So after that all you have to do is click start and you're ready to process your footage. Okay right now all that's happening is we're scaling down our footage from 4K to 2K. We're not cropping it, all we're doing is scaling it down. Now that all your footage is processed and everything, all you want to do is you're going to open up Final Cut Pro. We're going to start a new project here. Alright, once it's open, all you're going to do is find your files. This is the process footage that I had organized. And all our clips are in here. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to grab the full file and just bring it right in here. So now we have our folder, all our little subfolders nice and organized. And now we could preview our clips if we want. We could drag them right into the timeline. Now you're going to notice that you have this little window pop up. It's just asking you if you want to change your sequence settings to the same as your clip settings. You want to say yes to this, that way you don't have to worry about uh, rendering every time you do something small. So now my sequence is set to the exact same as my clip settings and I'm ready to edit. Um, remember to save your project and uh, I'm going to call mine Ape Music Video without the period. And that's it. 
So I hope I covered everything you uh, needed. Um, that's basically it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave comments underneath the video and I'll be glad to answer them as soon as possible. Take care.